Um, gosh, yeah, that's not the big deal. Um, and we'll take breaks here and there. Uh, what's it like going back? Um, I knew I wanted to go back um, only if I had the right sort of partner to work with, and I've been you know, wanting to work with Grant Morrison for ages. I think he's probably the most creative and imaginative writer out there right now. And uh, for me, the last four years, five years of my career, it's all been about working with writers that I really respect and want to learn from. So I don't think I would have come back necessarily without a writer of caliber like Grant Morrison. That said, I have to say, he's, he's uh, crazy, <laughs> but he's really talented, so it's a lot of fun to work with. I was going to throw him and split it in there, but there are kids here, so I can't. <laughs> um, I, I, Batman or Superman? Who's your favorite? Um, Batman or Superman is my favorite. Batman is, is a lot easier to draw. Uh, <laughs> uh, Superman, um, because his con he's essentially a naked man with a cape. And that's yeah, creepy. Um, but, uh, and, and Batman's a naked man with a cape and pointy ears. And the pointy ears make a huge difference. Uh, crazy strong. Now he's got the belt and he's got he's got shadows and, and shadows make a big difference. Um, I try to introduce more shadows on Strong Superman to fit sort of the tone of what Brian's storyline was playing as well as storyline. Um, but it didn't always work, you know, I think this character that was best when was fully lit. And, um, and also, he's, he doesn't wear a mask, and so, you know, the only distinctive thing he's got going for him is a split curl. Um, and um, the fewer things that you have, iconic items like that trademark, uh, iconic trademarks to a character's look, the harder it is to draw that character. No, they're, they're no plans. Yeah, I'm, I'm late enough as it is, you know, on the books I have. So I have um, 12 issues at least of Batman and Robin, and definitely 12 issues of Wildcats, and they're both bi monthly. And so that will carry me through for about two years, and then I have my next project I already lined up, but I can't really say what it is, but it's, uh, it's uh, a lot of great characters. <laughs> 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 What characters present the greatest challenge? What characters present the greatest challenge to, to draw? Um, crypto. Crypto is a pain in the butt. Because <laughs> uh, he looks like a big rat. Uh, when I draw him, he looked like, I sent it to Jeff and said, you drew a rat. You know? And so it's like, oh. Um, and the ears longer. But yeah, I don't draw a lot of animals. I was never an animal person. I just had fish when I was a kid. And uh, I'm allergic to, you know, animal hair. <laughs> so, uh, and since I was scared. And so I didn't really draw a lot of them. And um, my kids are related to horses. So I can draw a horse. They've taught me how to draw a horse. Um, but, uh, you know, animals are a whole different kind of muscle picture. It's not like you can just take a human body and, and make it smaller or shorter. It's a whole different kind of thing. Especially running horses, is very, very tough. So, um, that would be the hardest. Um, I think you'll ever go back to drawing. Are you kidding? It's just randomly happening. Uh, okay. I think you'll ever go back do I ever think I'd go back and draw for Marvel? Like, go back in time? Or like, uh, no, I, I decided to contract with DC for another three years. And, and, and part of that is to work on this uh, DC video game, the massively multiplayer online game with Sony. So that's a big part of, like, also why I'm kind of late on this stuff. I've been working on that a lot. Um, yeah, I, you know, it's not that I, I'm like, you know, all DC, I hate Marvel or anything like that. I mean, I, I still love. I was a huge Marvel fan as a teenager. Actually, one of my favorite characters. That said, I, I got to work on a lot of those characters already, and the fun of working in comics is is can be draw and work on new stuff. Um, so, you know, like Nick Fury, Black Widow, I love those characters. 
Can I find you something that's made out of money? Sure. Well, what characters are going to be in the new Bond cards, and uh, what are you going to do with the same or the same? Um... <clears throat> For the most part, like we, we really gave each writer the opportunity to, to rethink everything. And Grant, uh, we sent every issue of Wondcast to Grant, and he really liked a lot of the original run, the energy of the original run, so he thought it was like comics on crack. And, uh, and then the last one, which was more uh, intellectual, the uh, Joe Casey run. So it's really kind of a continuation thematically from the Joe Casey run, but on a crack like paste. I don't know what crack is, but you know, Grant's like awesome. <laughs> anyway, so I thought it was that magazine like mad, but anyway, it's something else apparently. Um, but so it's got uh, Zealot, Grifter, Spartan Voodoo, uh, eventually Warblade. Um, so it's got the, the, essentially the core cast. Um, uh, a lot of day nights. Uh, <laughs> Jacob Marlowe, not yet. So, Mr. Majestic, or Majestic. So, um, a lot of them are different costumes. There's not like one set costume. I've got all the original partners doing variant covers for the first six or seven issues, and they're always bugging me for costume reference. I'm like, dude, I've got it. I just make it up and send it to them, and I'm going to change it. Anyway, but, uh, so, um, that's actually what I spent quite a bit here. Email with those guys. So that's the, essentially the core, core cast. Hi, how are you? I'm good. How are you? My voice is, I, I don't normally sound this sexy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two questions. One of them being what he asked about Marvel. Yeah. Uh, X Men. Anytime, any place down the road no, after the three year contract. No, I, I, right now I'm really happy working at DC. There's so many characters, I, you know, like Legion of Superheroes, Justice League, Wonder Woman, uh, even the Justice Society, Flash, Green Lantern. I love all those characters as before I hit puberty. <laughs> <laughs> but, the second part is, would you be doing maybe down the road JLA? JLA? Um, that's possible. It's possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> so, moving uh, back to the new I don't think so. Yeah. Or we from the better characters looking down. So. <laughs> yeah. I, my biggest influence is. Uh, um, I just I just love uh, comic book characters as a kid. Um, my favorite artists as a kid were like George Perez and Frank Miller and John Byrne. And then later, as a when I became a professional, I was influenced by the work of Kevin Nolan and Art Adams, Mike Miller, Gary Windsor Smith. So a lot of like my work, if you like look at it, you probably see where I picked up pieces from those different artists outside of comic book artists. There's a uh, American illustrator from the 40s, I think, uh, 30s, 40s, named George Bridgman. You can still find his art books. It's kind of life drawing. And he really didn't focus on, on separate muscles. He really looked at the body as shapes, forms, like, you know, basically chunks of hand or footballs or whatever. So I never really learned each, where each muscle starts and ends. I don't really know the names of them, um, except for the nature of the muscles. And, uh, but it really focused more on, on, on the shapes of the arms and legs, uh, depending on whether there was force put on the, the arm or leg or not, because your, your muscles change shape. It's, it's pointless to learn like where it starts and ends. It's more important to know what shape it is when you contract or reflex. Um, so that's a lot of, like a lot of what I do when I think of drawing is like I draw. So, if I draw an arm coming forward, I think I'll cut it off at the forearm and, and think about the silhouette, the contour line, but, because it's not a silhouette. The line is a silhouette. But most people, you know, it's pretty good. It's, it's, the muscles pop out, so it's a bit more of a pear shape, I guess. So we're always trying to get aware of that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs>